there. Welcome to Solo and Smart, the YouTube channel for adults at risk of growing older alone. My name is Carol Marock at carolmarock.com. And today's question I have for Carrie R. Peck, who's a managing partner at a Chicago law firm, Peck Bloom LLC. And I asked him, under what circumstances would you recommend a, uh, selecting a professional fiduciary to stand for a solo wager in legal matters? And Carrie says that many times law firms uh, or attorneys will act as a fiduciary. They will act as a trustee in a revocable living trust, an executor in a, a will and an agent for a power of attorney for property. And you likely would not want to have your attorney stand in for you in your health care matters unless you were very good friends and that individual really knew what your wishes are for your end of life care. And um, another question I had is, what about legal decisions? Under what circumstance would you recommend selecting a guardian? So the appointment of a legal guardian is required only when no advanced planning has been done. Uh, guardianships are avoidable if you have a revocable living trust a power of attorney for property, and a power of attorney for health care. But most attorneys would rather be the counsel of a guardian rather than be the guardian. Uh, and guardianship uh, really is a court-supervised proceeding in which the court approves expenditures and location of a residence and should only be used in, in these appropriate circumstances. So that's it for today around fiduciaries and guardians and circle back tomorrow where I will have more selections where you, uh, for, uh, for these league, for uh, decision makers to our proxies for your healthcare, your property, et cetera. There are a few more that uh, I, I am aware of. So thank you for visiting. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and um, I will see you tomorrow.